Hey everybody, Rebecca here. So today I want to showcase a special project called the Green Envelope Project. And this is something that we hope everyone can get involved with and get behind because it's a really simple thing to do. So if you yourself have Lyme or you know somebody who does or just know the controversy surrounding it, we hope that you will go ahead and get involved in this project. So I have the link for the PDF down below. What you just do is you print out the first page is a uh, instructions page that describes our mission, what our goal is, and that you just print out the letter, which is the second page. You sign your name on the bottom. If you want a response back, because these will be going to the White House, you can put your address or your email address, or you can put nothing at all if you would prefer not to get a response. And then you put that into a green envelope and send it on May 1st. So all of those instructions are there. I hope that you will get involved and share this with everyone else. And then the important thing to remember with the letter is that it's a very complex issue. So there are, I, I covered the, the most important parts, like the basic parts. I know that there are other issues that individuals may feel need to be included in the letter. So if you feel like there's certain aspects like um, the congenital issue or other issues, feel free to send your own letter separate, really showcasing those areas that you feel are extremely important. We wanna encourage you to do that as well, but just to put it separate from the letter in the green envelope. And then several of us who are involved in the Green Envelope Project are going to be joining several other Lyme sufferers on May 17th in Washington, D.C. for the Lyme March. And we're going to be meeting with uh, congressmen and just trying to really showcase some of the issues within Lyme disease. And we really hope that as many of you as possible can join. If you, you yourself don't have Lyme disease, but you have a loved one that does that can't physically make it, if you could even go in their place, I think that would be awesome. I think between the letters and then us showing up in Washington, D.C. would really show a strong uh, message about the importance of uh, getting the testing and treatment we need for this disease and I'll put a link uh, to them the individuals that are hosting this Lyme rally in the link below as well if you have any additional questions feel free to email me as well and my email address will be down below as well please get involved in both projects um, especially the letter um, but if you can make it to the March that would be great until then have a very blessed day